Hi guys, so today we're going to go over how to embed a seesaw activity inside your Schoology and having the students actually work in it. Um, this is great and then seeing a timer and a little sentence demo instructions with it. Now this is great for teachers who have already created a bunch of activities on Seesaw and perhaps they just don't want to redo it again on Schoology, especially if it was a last minute uh, change. Um, so totally understandable, but so today we're going to learn about this hack. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to your Seesaw and you're going to go to the one where it says login. And if you're logged in, log out. So in the, for this instant, I'm going to go ahead. I was trying to be like a student, so I'm going to go ahead and sign out. So once you're there, you're going to click on I am a student. And we want this sign in page. Now, the great thing is once the student signs in, let's say this is their personal computer um, and they have a code, they can just sign in one time and it should save it for future uh, uses. So I, I go ahead and get this URL and I'm going to create an embed frame or embed window. So I'm going to go to iframe generator and I'm going to click and copy in the iframe URL section. I'm going to press preview and this is how my sign in will look like on Schoology. Now I feel like it's a little bit wide so I might shrink it just a tiny bit. And of course, you know, you see a little bit more. Maybe I want to make it bigger. This is where you can play with that. Again, playing like with your window that you're creating, correct? And so again, I, I, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to go, go back and press generate and copy my code or my window code, correct? So once I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and put add materials and click on add page. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the seesaw assignment or seesaw login, I guess you could say. And once I'm there, I'm going to go ahead and press insert content. Um, you can add a little photo or instructions or anything that you've already had a YouTube video in this situation, what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and look for a 20 minute timer. Select this, import as embed. Once I've done that, I should see a big yellow uh, square, which means I've done it correctly. And then I should also put a table. Now, a table is great. I mean, you don't have to. I like it because it kind of helps stabilize everything and put it in one. It doesn't make my font move all over. So I'm going to go ahead and create my table. Now, I want this video to be inside of it. And you should see that that's your new uh, option, your new view. And in the other box, I'm going to go ahead and type in my instructions. So please log in with your student account. And complete the family journal assignment. Okay, I'm okay with that. So I can make this bigger or smaller as I need. And I can change colors, I can underline it, change uh, whatever you need to do. Maybe shrink it a bit. And once I'm done there, I'm going to go ahead and press on the, f make sure my blinking cursor is like at the bottom of the table, right here. Um, going, I'm going to go to my HTML and you should see a, a code. So the code is how we talk to the computer. So right now, or in this case, Schoology. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna shift enter, kind of get away from, read this code alone. And I'm going to press in my new code right here. And once I'm done, oh, sorry, copy and paste. So there's my new code. I'm going to go back and see if it worked. Now, the way you'll know it worked is because you see a, a big yellow block. This is for your YouTube video. And here is your Seesaw login page. Now, if it's too big, you can always adjust the size and just play with it. Not a problem. Um, let's say you have students that can't quite read yet. You can always um, do an audio or video recording of your instructions and insert it so that the students can listen to that. And then press create. So once you're done, you should see this. 
and the students should be able to uh, click on it and have no problem logging in. Again, so they can log in one time at, and save it, and it should save it for future reference, so you, they don't have to see the sign-in anymore. Um, please let me know if there's any more tips or tutorials that you might need in the comments.